Nepal impact. And that's four in Malay. Was it Malaysia? Yeah. Spoken by obviously Malaysians, and I'm going there soon. Mitch, I need your khaki. Right, L and Pat goes to England. I'm sorry, England, but the L was yours. World Cup was beautiful. Uh, thought you should have kept the same players. But Vardy and Cahill have said, you know what? We're done. And now that Vardy and Cahill have moved on, you know, they retired, it's a testimonial Hall of Famers. You now got Travoski and Luke Shaw coming in. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure. Mensa, Danny Welbeck has been called up. Now, I was fuming with Danny Welbeck because I didn't really see him at the World Cup. I wanted to see his knees moving around. I didn't get to, to see that. He was just, I just saw his knees on the bench with a bib on, warming up on the sides. And, you know, Gareth Gar Southgate's called you up again. And it seems like he's just going to use you just to walk that bench. But England, I feel like they're, they're just picking names out of a hat now. Gareth Southgate's waistcoat will be back in silver. From now, there'll be 20 matches, international matches, with Gareth Southgate, his waistcoat in silver. But no waistcoat should have a pocket on the inside. It's not a blazer. So that makes me think that, you know what? They're not really waistcoats. These are shirts that Gareth Southgate is cutting into pieces. He's a cheat. The only person that can do that is Austin. UEFA Nations League, a new international tournament that's coming up that England are in. This is not Le Tournoi. I remember when I was a kid, like year six, they brought up this little tournament called Le Tournoi and Roberto Carlos scored a wonder goal. Don't try and do these Emirates Cups international business. Well, if that's the case, if it's live, it has to be on film four. Now, Richard Keys claims that, you know, Cahill and Vardy's walked out from the England squad. They walked out from their country. But, you know, when I look at the age, you know, yep, they're old, undertaker age, I get it. But experience. We still need your experience. So I don't think Vardy and Cahill should have left. You know, I, I think they should have stayed just to spread that experience. I think they're selfish guys. Very selfish guys. But maybe because Vardy didn't start so many games, maybe he called it a day. You know, but for a man that was at Fleetwood a few years ago, he should be cherishing everything that's happening to him right now. Jamie Vardy's story is amazing. You know, he's won the Premier League, he was at Fleetwood, he's come from non-league into the Premier League. But to make a film about him, that's going too far. The only film that has to be watching with football players is Vinnie Jones, all those football factories, and the, 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 is it the Green Street and stuff like that? Because the guy's got a skidded. So I, I can believe what's going on. Fadi can't come in there with, what's his hairstyle now? I don't know, it's just rough like the cameraman right now that's opposite me. I'm just gonna close the door like this. Jamie Vardy is retired from international duty. And when he got married, his best man was David Nugent. So basically, like I said to you, Bolt's wedding, Scribs was best man. The wedding was boring as hell. I was fidgeting all day when Bolt's dad was talking.